Well, I joined the Black Dog Institute in 2013 and I hadn't been working in, in the online mental health field previously. Um, but as soon as I got here, I realised that it was a really big focus of the Institute. Um, and because I work with young people, I recognise that this is a really um, valuable medium to approach young people in. Um, so I very quickly got up to speed um, and became interested in that field since, since joining the Institute. Okay, well, my research program is focused on young people and in particular I work with school-based research. So at the moment I'm running a school-based trial um, called the Trial for the Prevention of Depression, um, also known as Tripod. And the aim of that study is really to investigate whether an online intervention can prevent the onset of mental health problems in HSE students. Well, the idea is um, for it to help all final year high school students. Um, we're determining whether or not the program that we're using is effective. Um, and if we find that it is effective, we'd love to be able to roll it out to HSC students around the country. Um, because we know that year 12 is a really stressful period for young people and that adolescence is a time when a lot of mental health problems start, um, we feel that this is really an ideal time to intervene. Um, so if we could ensure that it's working, um, the idea is it will help young people across the country. Um, the program itself that we're looking at is an online gaming intervention. It's based on uh, principles of cognitive behaviour therapy. So the idea is to provide HSE students with um, coping skills and ways to manage their stress. Um, and if it does what it's supposed to do, um, then, then it will provide a, a generation of young people with these skills in advance of a very stressful time. Um, essentially, we're delivering it through a gaming modality um, because we want to make it fun and accessible for young people. Well, I think, um, as I said before, first of all, I think that for young people, this is the way that they live in the world now. It's the way they communicate with each other. It's how they get their information. So for young people in particular, um, online approaches are really valuable. Um, also, I guess for a, a large majority of people um, who don't live in the city, they don't have access to um, a lot of the face-to-face -face services that we do. Um, so really making sure that people can access mental health services wherever they are um, seems to be a top priority.